Dynaco SCA 80Q uh, came in for a power amp rebuild. Uh, took care of that. You can see some of the damage there from the burnt resistors. Power supply board also had some broken resistors. Uh, the guy that owns this wanted to just get it up and running without a full restoration, just minimal work. Um, one of the things that bothered me was the left channel seemed to be reading 0.5% distortion, which uh, is technically right within spec, um, but the other channel was reading about 0.05%. Um, first, I found a few resistors on the preamp boards that were out of spec. They'd become a bit high. Um, I, I found that by uh, checking this pin here on the output to the left channel amp. And if you measure the distortion right here, it was reading high. Um, fixed the resistors, so now that went down to about 0.02%. Um, however, the output was still reading 0.5, 0 0.6% distortion. Um, Ended up tracing it down to the uh, capacitor here. Um, if you put the probe here, it was reading, you know, 0 0.01, 0 0.02. And on the other side of that capacitor, it was reading 0.5 or so. Um, this capacitor tested fine on the LCR meter. Um, capacitance was a little bit above the 5,000 it was originally rated at, but it seems like that's kind of how they were back in the day. Um, ESR was reading 0 0.1 ohms. Um, so I jumpered in a temporary capacitor after desoldering this red wire and clipped that on there and I noticed the distortion went away. Um, go figure. Um, I, I clipped this one back in. I was going to make this quick video using the alligator leads and um, I noticed the distortion was still gone. So turns out it was just a bad solder joint on this uh, red lead here going into the positive terminal on the capacitor. I'll take it. And uh, you can see here, I've had it running for a few minutes now on the distortion analyzer at full power, 30 watts into an eight ohm load. And it's, uh, you know, well below spec. The spec for this is um, less than 0.5% at this uh, ohm load. So I'm happy with it.